Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to revisit one of my previous videos, and we're actually going to use the Von House Full Motion TV wall mount and stick that on the wall. Let's see how it goes. So here we are, this is the uh, Von House Full Motion TV wall mount, and I'm going to mount it on the wall with a telly and we're going to turn this old bedroom unit into possibly a computer workstation or somewhere for me to film. During this process I'm going to use my Rolson 3-in-1 detector for studs in the wall. Now if you want to see how this works and what it's all about click on the link in the video up here or here and you can find out more about that. Um, but first things first let's clear the area and get the wall marked up to put this on the wall. Okay, so this is the back of the TV, and this is the uh, VESA mounting bits, holes, whatever you want to call them. And this is the VESA bracket, the Von Haus bracket, as you can see, cantilevers and moves around and does all sorts. But obviously, this bit here isn't quite big enough to fit those holes. So, what they've included is these wings. So what you need to do is attach one wing there. Sorry for headphone users, you just got deafened. And attach the other wing there. Kind of like that. And the bracket fits in the middle of those two wings. So that way you can support a big TV. So that is uh, 400 mil side to side, 200 mil top to bottom. So this uh, bracket will do uh, 400 by 400 and anywhere down to, I think it's uh, 70, uh, 50 by 50 or 75 by 75. So very wide range of monitors that it'll cover. But let's get these wings installed on the back of the plate and we'll carry on with the next part of the job. So screws go underneath. Sorry about this headphone users. You're probably kill it, killing yourselves right now. One, and there's two. I should say what, rather than bore you to death, I'm going to tighten these up and then we'll get on to the next bit. There's the wings on, that bit's ready. We can mount that onto the back of the TV now, so we'll do that next. I know I said I was gonna put a bracket on the wall, but I'm gonna put that on the TV. It's easier. It's not easier. None of it's easy. It's all hard. Mount it on the TV. Okay, so we've assembled the wings, and I'm gonna attach the wings and the unit to the back of the, uh, back of the telly. Now, in the kit, get a whole bunch of uh, connections, screws, spacers, etc. So you shouldn't have any problem with attaching this to uh, any TV. Now looking at the threads that I've got there, I think I'm going to be using the MAs with the MF uh, washers. So let's try those. Don't swallow plastic kids, it's really bad for you. Okay, so we've got our bolts and washers. No, don't. I'm not sure whether I'm going to need to use a spacer with this because it's got a long thread. So the best thing to do is to test it first of all by screwing it in and seeing how far it will actually go into the uh, the TV. If you feel any resistance at all, stop immediately because you've gone too far. So as long as it screws in without any resistance, which that one has, then you're good to go. So we can put our wings back up and put the four bolts in. Now be very careful when you do these bolts because the bolts are basically the only thing holding your expensive TV to your relatively cheap bracket. So um, 
spend a bit of time in consideration when you're doing this. If need be, you can put a little dab of glue or something on the threads after, just so they don't come loose. And check them periodically. If you're moving it around a lot, check them just to make sure they're not going to come loose. There's four bolts on there, so chances are it's not going to fall off the wall, but safety first. So let's put the wing on the back of the TV. Now if you line up the holes, Ideally, if you have got uh, someone who can help you with this, great, but I've got no friends, so I'm doing this myself. Just make sure, uh, leave a little bit of slack on the first screw when you put it in, just so you can adjust the angle so you can get the, uh, the rest of the screws in. Because obviously, if you tighten that up fully tight the first time, you may not be able to line up the rest of the holes. Okay. So again, not fully in tight, just so you've got a bit of, a, a bit of wiggle room, as I like to say. Right, that one didn't want to go back, go in very well. So I'm going to come back to that one in a second. And that one doesn't want to go in very well either. So let's use a little bit of force, which I said not to do just now. Yeah, it seems that was just because it was a plastic thread and it had never been used before, so just needed a little bit of extra torque to get it in. Okay, so that's all the screws in, so we can tighten them up the rest of the way now. Obviously, an impact gun is probably not the best thing to be using for this, so please stop flaming me in the comments, which I guess some of you will be. Ideally, just use a hand screwdriver or a uh, electric screwdriver drill on the lowest setting. Okay, so you can check all your screws. Make sure there isn't any slack. Um, if you want to, you can try and turn on the TV just to make sure it still works after you've put some great big long screws into the back of it. But we're not gonna do that because uh, we're semi-professional. So let's get the TV out of the way and let's concentrate on the wall behind and get the cantilever on the wall. Okay, so now it's time to uh, mount the cantilever on the wall. So you've got a couple of options for different holes and stuff there. As you can see on the wall, well, I don't know if you can or not, actually, I've done a dot there, 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 and there. Now, those dots are uh, direct replications of the holes on the back of the TV, just so I got some idea of roughly where it was when it was actually on the unit that we had here. And also, what I've done is I've done two dots on, this, on the wall, which are probably just slightly out of shot. So this dot here is the dot which was the top of the TV, whilst it was on the, the bench. And this is kind of the, the highest point that I want the TV to be. I've got about, what's that, about three inches, three and a half, four inches. Actually, what is, I'm gonna measure it, because I've got my tape measure. So yeah, it is about four inches we've got there. About four inches of room, so we can take the uh, monitor, sorry, TV up about four inches which hopefully should give me enough room then on the bench to put a keyboard and mouse underneath it so we can use it for gaming or general computing, browsing the internet or watching YouTube videos, which, talking of YouTube videos, if you haven't subscribed already, click on the subscribe button now. Do me a great favor for doing that and also check out my links for all the products in this video in the Amazon links underneath. But that's enough of that. Let's get this on the wall. So it's marked up on there. The up arrow is the up. Now there is a bit of an offset so if you had this straight, it would be dead center. But there is, as you can see, that's where the TV attaches. So let's turn that around so you can see that a bit better. So that's where the back plate attaches. So as you can see, there's a couple of inch offset. Now, luckily for what I'm planning to do, I want a bit more space on this side of the room. So it'll be good to come over this way a little bit anyway. So ideally, we want to mount this somewhere in this region. Again, that's our current high point, that's our current low point, and we've got about four inches of uh, room to play with in there. Now, obviously, because this isn't going to be on the wall and behind the TV, you can drill it, and if it isn't perfect the first time, you could drill another couple of holes and move it up a bit or down a bit, whichever you want to. There is also adjustment um, for kind of left and right on the bracket, and also there's a little bit of swivel. So if you don't get it dead on first time, 
don't worry, don't cry, don't be upset. It's, uh, it happens to all of us sometimes, so you might have to re-drill it. But luckily, so this is a quite a flexible mountain, so hopefully first time should be good. So really, I suppose I want to get a sort of central point between those dots. So let's get the tape measure again. And this is about 400. So our central point is obviously going to be 20 or 200. So that's our center point. So looking at the bracket, if we take that as our complete center, that should, that should give us about the right height. So, let's see. You know what they say, measure twice, drill once or cut once or, I don't know, like that. Let's have a look at the back of, no, actually, I can't do that now because I've mounted that on the back of the TV. Do I don't know, should I just drill it? What do you reckon? Let's see how many inches that is, because I'm a bit nervous. I don't want to. I don't want to mess this up. I kind of do, but I don't. Right. So the gap between the middle and there is five inches, and we've got about four inches to play with. Okay. Let's play safe. Let's go low. So there's our hole. Let's drop it down about an inch. And we'll take that as being our, our low point. I think that's about an inch. Calf should know how big an inch is. Is that about an inch? She says, yeah. Okay, so, now what I find is with this, because you've got three holes, one, two, three, I'm gonna use all three holes. So in my mind, the best thing to do is to drill the first hole, put your rule plug in, put the screw in through there, and then whilst this is attached to the wall loosely, not fully tightened, but just so there's a little bit of swivel, so then you can make any adjustments you want using your uh, spirit level to get it completely level. So we're gonna mark, well, we've already got it marked up, so let's get a drill, make a hole, and then we use our level. Before we do that, <laughs> Mike, the professional, using our stud detector, now because there's a power socket down here, it's extremely unlikely that there's going to be any electricity in this wall, uh, let alone any studs or anything like that, because this is England and we have stone and concrete and bricks and all that kind of stuff. So, But I do know the previous owner of this house did have wall lights, so there could be some old cables in the wall still, which could or could not be live. And uh, Unfortunately, the electrician who wired this house, I, uh, I don't know anymore and haven't seen, so I can't get in contact with him. So safety first, let's try it and see, uh, see if we can find any, any electricity in this wall. So this is a dual purpose. So let's flip it up to the AC and voltage. And let's do a few tests, just make sure it picks up. There's a cable. So that's a pretty good test that I do. No, we don't seem to have anything there, so I think we're pretty good to go. So now, this is the included screw bolts and rule plugs and all that good stuff. So you've got four in there. Three holes, four screws. Ah, two holes at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. So, we're gonna need all four. So, let's do the first one. And you can see, so they're pretty, uh, pretty decent sized. I suppose, depending on the size of your TV or flat screen or whatever, um, gonna need a, a pretty decent Rule plug and bolt just to hold it in place. 
So we use our DeWalt masonry set with our DeWalt drills because I kind of like DeWalt. And I'm not sure what size that is. I think that's an eight mil, give or take. Mm, might be a little bit bigger. So we might have to uh, go and get the other set in a minute. Let's do the hole to start with and uh, let's see how it goes. So drill onto speed number two and onto hammer. And let's make a mess. That's our hole. Close, very close. They never go in first time. Let's try that. No, gonna need to get some rid of that dust in there and maybe a bigger drill bit, so we'll be right back. Right, eight mil drill bit was too small, so we go with nine mil now. Now the fixings that they supply, as good as they are, they didn't tell you in the manual what size they are, so I'm guessing nine mil. I've got a 10 mil on standby anyway, so let's try a nine mil and see how we get on. Now again, headphone users, I do apologize, but I'm gonna put the vacuum on at the same time, because this is gonna save me clean up later on, so. I do apologize. Nine mil hole drilled. Will it fit? Maybe. Let's give it a little bit of persuasion. I have to go with it. I ain't got a hammer. Next best thing. We're good. Nine mil it is. Let's get our screw. Um, oh, washer. Oh, dear. There's a YouTube truck. YouTube prize for dropping stuff. I definitely want to be nominated. Right. Screw. Washer. Bracket. Well, I better take care because up is that way. And it'd be just my luck to put it on around the wrong way. Right there, do you reckon? Does that look good? Yeah, I think that's the way we should, we should do it. Right, so now we've got our locating screw. I can now get the <laughs> don't fall because that would make my locating screw look rubbish. Let's tighten up a little bit just in case. <sighs> Why do I do these things? This reminds me of when I'm at work, my real job that is, and someone says to me, "Oh, can we just put a TV on the wall? Just put a TV on the wall." Yeah, you know who you are. Right, so let's get a spirit level and we'll mark out the other holes that we need to drill. Again, if you've got two people to do this, great, but unfortunately my other person's behind that side of the camera, so I'm on my own. So there we go, that's marked up. Move that off the wall slightly so I don't rub it off. Uh, just have interest, the marks I'm making on the wall are in dry erase marker so they can be uh, wiped off quite easily after. I haven't used a permanent marker like Mitch would when he's doing tagging all over my office and all over my stuff. Mitch. Right, so we can undo the screw, get this out of the way, drill the rest of the holes, put the ball plugs in, then we can tighten up all the screws and eventually we'll get the TV on the wall. So, let's do that next. 
Okay, so I've drilled the holes and got the rule plugs in. So I'm going to give them a final tap in with the uh, good old IKEA hammer with the rubber stopper on, just to get these flush. Kind of flush. Don't forget, if you're going to do this, make sure you clean the end of the hammer first so you don't wreck your rule like I just did. But fortunately, we're going to have a monitor covering it, so it's not a problem. But if anybody knows me and knows calf, got to get rid of it, so OCD. Shiny. Right, that's enough of that. Um, let's get a mount on the wall. Now we've got our four screws with the washers, we've got a bracket, we know which way's up. So let's get a screw in to get it started and then we'll get the, uh, the power tool out and screw them right up. Well, not screw it up, but tighten it up. And also then we can level it up as well. Impact drill, let's get this uh, tightened up. Sorry, headphone users. And sorry, neighbors. So now we're pretty much tightened up on a few of them. There's a little bit of wiggle room. So let's get the spirit level and make sure it's all level. Makita spirit level. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty good. You want to get a zoom on that calf? Yeah, we're looking pretty level there. So we're nice and level, so let's tighten up the rest of the screws and make sure it stays that way. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, slightly off level now, so we're gonna give that a bit of adjustment. As is normally the way when using power tools, too much torque and things move out of the line, so. Okay, so that's it, screwed up and tightened up. Not screwed up, tightened up. Must stop saying screwed up, it's not screwed up, it's all gone well. It's slightly off, which I find it uh, when doing the bolts up, because it's concrete, it's gone in and it's pulled in really tight and the concrete's not quite level, so it's pulled it slightly out, but it's close enough. And we've got adjustments still um, on this front piece anyway. So now we're ready to put the TV onto the bracket. I'm gonna have to move the camera to get to the TV to get it on the bracket. So we'll be right back after this. Okay, so that's everything moved around again. Um, got the bracket on the back of the TV. So what we're gonna have to do now is uh, loosen off the nuts on the back of the TV so we can loop it over the top of this section here, which I don't know if you can make it out very well, very clearly, but yeah, those bits there, they're open-ended at the top uh, to make it easier to put in. So you can lift the TV onto it, latch it on, then you can attach the bolts uh, and tighten up the top bolts. So, if you look at these down here, so there's nuts on the end of there. And I've taken the one off the bottom. So there's no nut on there, two nuts on there, but I've done, I've loosened them right off so that that can slip over the top. So, let's go back up to the top. So now I'm gonna try not to give myself a hernia, uh, putting the TV up on there again, if there are two people, it does make life a lot easier, but unfortunately, my wingman is over there behind the camera, so I'm gonna do this myself. Okay, so that's the screen on the unit. Look, no hands, and I'm not using anything else to hold it up. So I'm gonna tighten up the bolts on the back a little bit, using the spanner provided, if I can find it. Thank you, calf. Spanner provided, tighten up the nuts. So now is a sort of final thing. Can remove the base of the TV, which is here, and put a spirit level on the side and make sure that everything's nice and level. Not that it will be, but you never know. Right, be a bit of a test. And no, surprisingly, it's uh, way out. Actually, it's not too bad. It needs to come over this way a little bit. There we go. I think what I'll do is I'll leave the back 
I'll leave it a bit of a sort of uh, just friction tight so I can adjust it every time because I'm going to be swinging it in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and it's bound to lose its true so but I think if you look at the shelf at the back which I put up as well they're either both out or they're both level one of the two you decide but I'm going to take the base off now and we're going to reset everything and get a final shot of how this whole setup looks now it's completed see you in a bit so there we have it there is the finished product and you can see there's my Hitachi 42 inch TV firmly on the wall and relatively level um, I have put the spirit level on a few more times since and I've cinched up the, uh, the nuts on the back to keep it in place so it should stay pretty level but if it doesn't in my upcoming videos let me know and uh, I will gladly oblige in readjusting it but as you can see it looks uh, it looks quite nice and now at least we've got a bit of room underneath the TVs to put keyboards, uh, mice or when calf's getting ready in the morning, makeup, mirrors etc etc. That has been the Von House full motion TV wall mount. Uh, I've been Mike, this has been Mike's unboxing reviews and how to and we will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.